Hi there. Thanks for stopping by and watching this short video. Uh, I'm Cheryl Westland and I'm the Executive Director for Diabetes Research, WA. And every now and then we share our thoughts on uh, an important health issue and something that's come across my desk recently and I really thought it was worthwhile, one, uh, writing a blog on this important issue and another one just sort of backing that up with a, with a video and, and I'm actually really interested to find out what your thoughts are on this. You probably will have seen that in the media there's been quite a bit of focus on um, obesity, healthy foods, uh, children in selecting foods, um, sugar tax, all of those kinds of things to try and help uh, you know, the health of, of those in our community that are probably the, the most vulnerable to these kinds of, of issues. Um, and, and it's been sort of brought to my attention that there's a number of, of people who worry that you know, we're becoming a nanny state or we are you know, taking away people's choices. And what I wanted to just chat about is what if that, that the balance is out of whack? What if that there is just far more advertising of unhealthy foods and unhealthy drinks to our most vulnerable people, and in particular young children, then there are healthy. And if that's the case then, and, and we do actually know that's the case, then that's not fair. And that's not a fair playing field for anybody. And in any game, that wouldn't be right. And in particular, you know, we live in pretty busy uh, times where particularly when you have young children and you're rushing about, you're going backwards and forwards, you've got a lot on. And, you know, the, the advertising is everywhere. It really is everywhere. You know, you can go to the swimming pool, you can go to the rec centre, and as you're walking out, there's, you know, some unhealthy foods displayed in front of you. There's advertising on buses, there's advertising, you know, in bus shelters, kids are getting rewarded for doing great jobs with unhealthy vouchers, you know, or vouchers for unhealthy foods. And I just don't think that's fair. And, you know, it's hard enough for us to try and make those great choices for our children and for our families, let alone there being so much advertising that, you know, it's beco it becomes of the norm. You know, it's, it becomes the norm to have these kinds of foods all of the time. And, you know, if we can put some pressure on some regulations so that it's a playing field, like it's a fair playing field, then I'm all for that. And I'm prepared to go into bat for people for that. So, you know, that's, we've written a little blog about it and I'd really like you to read it. I'd like you to share it. I'd really like some comment. And I'd really like you to comment on this video and let me know you know, do you struggle with making those choices? Do you, do you struggle with having, you know, the kids see all these kinds of things and they just sort of thinking that it's, that it's the norm, that these are the foods we should be eating? Um, and, and what about in your family? And what about for yourself? You know, when you're tired and you're busy, you're hungry, it's just so easy, so easy. Particularly, you know, when it's fed to us continuously in marketing because a lot of the marketing is subliminal and without us realizing it becomes, you know, the thought process in our subconscious is when I'm hungry, I eat fast food. When we go out, we eat fast food. And I think it's worthwhile shining a light on this particular aspect in our community because I'm passionate about health. I'm passionate about making it easier for us to be healthy. Look forward to hearing what you've got to say and thanks for watching. Bye.